Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Noting. In this episode, I want to share this note setup uh, using geometry nodes in Blender. That's basically creating something that looks like a noodle or mi goreng. Uh, this is the reference if you ever want to check for mi goreng. Um, in the past, I've tried doing something similar using Svercok, but now we can actually do it simply by using geometry nodes. Okay, so let's take a look. So the secret in this uh, geometry node setup is really just the split edges and this actually split the edges of each uh, polygon face so this is from the monkey head from Suzanne and as you can see I turn the mesh into curve and then curve back into the mesh and then split the edges and I use mesh to curve once again and then resemble the curve so I can resemble each and every polygon curve. So we can have this uh, kind of like a toothpick setup, or you can also replace it. Uh, you know, you can turn it into anything like bamboo. In this case, I'm making the noodle. And then the next thing I did was to turn it back into into mesh and then scale the element. So this this part actually, <clears throat> if you just keep. This, uh, the length of every edge you get this but if you scale the elements and then randomize you have, you have something that's a little bit uh, more random different length of the curve of edge and then I'm using um, this ID so for each and every edges I will have different noise apply I'm using 4D texture and then of course okay the the W is being used and this is the strength of the noise so you can actually have all kind of different variations that you can make yourself this is uh, the noise offsetting polygon edge and then once again I use mesh to curve curve to mesh this I use a lot of this this one is of course is a uh, very very useful uh, you can assign the thickness of the circle to create the noodles and finally you set the, the materials I think I use subdivisions as well here that's why it's a little bit slow okay yeah you need to have the subdivisions or you can you can always subdivide it inside geometry nodes itself um, also, if you want to take advantage of the mesh to volume, volume to mesh, you can get a different result. See, like this. So, we get something that's more like volume. Maybe you actually want something like this. So, if you have like Taurus or whatever mesh, you can simply just link copy the modifier and you're gonna get this result and I think that's something that looks like me goreng okay all right so it's re really pretty simple hopefully you find this uh, useful uh, thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time thank you bye